Emerging from the cabin of flight ET702, those on board this Ethiopian Airlines flight headed for Italy had had a terrifying ordeal. Somewhere, it's thought over Sudanese airspace, the plane was hijacked by its 31-year-old co-pilot. It then sent out a mayday signal, a distress call, asking for political asylum. Uh, do you know if we will get the asylum uh, in time? We need asylum or assurance that will not be transferred to the Ethiopian government. Okay, we are waiting on that uh, information. With the plane fast running out of fuel, the hijacker circled Geneva Airport until authorities here gave permission to land. On landing, the co-pilot then climbed from the cockpit through the window using a rope. He handed himself into police who were waiting on the tarmac. The hijacker said he planned the hijacking before the taking off. He locked himself in the cockpit when the captain went to the toilet. He attributed the hijacking to threats he received back in his own country and he wanted to seek asylum in Switzerland. There were 202 people on board the Boeing 767. All were evacuated safely and checked by police. They were then assessed by doctors for any damage to their physical or mental health. The next challenge was to transfer passengers on to their Italian destinations. Half have already been flown to Rome to be reunited with their friends and family. The co-pilot hijacker is still being questioned by police. If he's prosecuted in Switzerland, he could face up to 20 years in jail. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News, Geneva.